Hello, beautiful family. Just been to visit a friend um, who, li who lives in this uh, suburb just outside, just outside Scarborough. And uh, I've never noticed this before, but look, I'm going to show you this. Watch, hold on. Well, you all know what that is, don't you? The five G um, tower. And uh, that's how they're going to control everybody. All people have been pumping themselves with, allowing themselves to be um, jabberooed with multiple jabberoos. Well, they're going to, I believe they're going to change. I believe they're going to change. Um, they, they say they've got 5G. Well, I believe, I believe that's a lie because um, the devil's in control of TV and the media and he can't utter a word of truth. So I believe it'll be something like 8G or 10G or something. And uh, just look at it. These, these are positioned everywhere. Um, all over, in, in, in hidden places, in, in obvious places. Uh, what's at the top of it? This horrible, horrible. These, these are gonna, these are gonna go off. And all these people who've, uh, like I say, and and possibly the mark as well. There's gonna be a zombie apocalypse. I, I, I don't care what anyone says because I know there is. I had another zombie dream the other night. I was in un some underground facility somewhere, prison facility, and um, th there was no officers and no guards, and the cell doors were open. Massive place it was, from what I can re remember. Just I only remember the first bit upon waking, but it felt like I'd been dreaming this dream all night long, and I woke up deeply disturbed. Anyway, I was un in this underground facility, and these zombies walking around. And if, if, if I, I, I was, I just remember grabbing this girl to bring her th through these zombies to, to, to the exit, I think, to, to a place with safety. I grabbed her arm and we ran through these zombies and the zombies didn't quite know you were there straight away until it'd take them a few seconds. So you'd have a few seconds to get through them and um, escape. But I woke up from that so so disturbed and, I, and i've had many other ones and i believe this the these things um going off you know all those people who've got that inside them this um graphene graphene oxide that the they've had uh put inside them you all know what i'm saying i can't i've, I've got to be careful what i say but um they're going to change. They're going to change suddenly, and that could be the Red Rider. It takes peace from the earth and causes men to kill one another. So there's definitely something going on with the the, the 5G and and um, and um, you know the Jabaroos and that. Um, there's definitely something going on with that because they show us these. Um, these 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 zombie apocalypse films for a reason. It's all it's all predictive uh, programming, um, showing you what's to come. I think that could be a camera on it. I don't know, but um, most people haven't got a clue what that is. But it's it's obviously a, just just like the towers, but you know, it's one of them death towers. That's what it is. Death Tower, and they're probably strategically placed all over the place. And like I said, I don't believe it's 5G, it's probably 10G. So if you're not saved, you're gonna have to be left behind to face this when that Red Rider is let loose. It takes peace from the earth. So it's relatively peace, peace, peaceful now. I mean, not in many countries, but it is here in the UK. But when that red rider is let loose, the second seal, judgment, peace is taken from the earth and 
and it causes men to kill one another. So it's going to be hell. It's going to be literally hell on earth. It's going to be World War Three. It's going to be an absolute nightmare. This is why I'm urging people to believe on Jesus if you haven't. Um, anyway, I've just gone to visit a friend. Um, my good friend, uh, Jason. Please pray for him, will you? Please pray for him because he, I love him so much, and he, he said he's gonna, he said he's gonna do a prayer tonight. I hope so. I hope so because we, we could be out of here any second now. I know, I know we're gonna be. Um, and I, I'm just, I'm gonna talk to Stephen, Stephen Gledill later, and see if he'll, see if he'll uh, be prepared to come out with me. Possibly tomorrow. I don't, I don't know. We'll just see, see what the Lord says. Uh, and Rob, well, Rob's working because he's an ambulance driver, so he won't be able to come with us. But um, so it'll just be me and Steve and, until the weekend, if we get to the weekend, that is. Because I'm telling you now, the time, the time is running out. It's running out quick. Jesus Christ is coming, and, it, and if people want to mock and scoff, well, well, you'll remember what I said. You remember what I said and what many others told you and you'll, you'll wish that you'd just done that simple prayer because that's all it's about. It's not about religion. It's just about acknowledging that you, you've sinned. Like the Bible said, we've all sinned and we all come short of the glory of God daily. Even Christians, daily. All, and all it takes, it's not, it's not about turning away from all your sin. When you believe on Jesus Christ, that he died on that cross for you, he shed his blood for the forgiveness of all our sin, he was buried and rose again. You believe that truly in your heart and say, come into my life, Lord Jesus, you'll be saved. And that is basically turning from your sin because your lifetime of sin is, is then nailed on the cross and God's righteousness imputed to you so that you become the righteousness of God in Jesus Christ and you, you can't lose your salvation once you're born again you're born of God you're saved you're sealed with Holy Spirit until the day of redemption until the day of the rapture um, you're justified by the shed blood of Jesus I, I wouldn't leave it any, any longer if I was you if you're somebody hanging on the fence get off that fence and believe on Jesus it's not about going to church, one of these churches every day um, when it's church buildings the Bible says we are the church the, the temple of the Holy Ghost you know once you're saved that's it you're sealed and you know God will he don't want to change the person he made you he might want to change some of the things in your lifestyle well he will but he won't he won't want to doesn't want to change the person he made you the character he made you just maybe some things in your life that's all um, don't wait until you witness all these people vanish and then these horrible things start they turn them on to full and people change and then people start to kill one another that's what it's going to be like because a lot of people think that Red Rider is just war but I don't believe that. I believe it's got something to do with them, something to do with this zombie apocalypse, something to do with all these people who, even though they got ill when they took the first one and the second one, they've still gone and got more and more and more, you know, and some are inside, inside them, um, you know, that's it's not it's not protecting people from anything it's um it's, it's part of their agenda to depopulate the world in a violent and aggressive and horrible way um that's what it's about so don't wait for that believe on jesus christ now don't leave it any second longer i'm begging you if you're somebody who hasn't believed but if you have believed then um Lift up your heads, look up, because our redemption is upon us at any moment. And I'll, okay, call upon Jesus if you haven't. Um,
Call upon him even if you've believed already. Call upon me in the day of trouble, he says. I will, I will deliver you and you will honour me, uh, uh, glorify me. So, um, right, I'm going to get off, guys. Just wait, queuing up for this uh, bus to go back home. But I love you very much and uh, be, of, be of good cheer. Wait on the Lord and be of good uh, courage and he will strengthen your hearts. The Lord is our light and our salvation. Whom shall we fear? The Lord is the strength of our life. Of whom shall we be afraid? Right, that's my bus coming. I love you, family. God bless you. I'll see you up there. But I, I know any moment now um, in white robes with the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah.